More than 20,000 U.S. and Allied troops are gearing up for the make-or-break operation of the Afghan war. Retake the city of Kandahar from the Taliban. According to Stephen Biddle, a civilian advisor to General Stan McChrystal, the outcome of the entire war is riding on it. If we fail to secure this population, it's hard to see how the campaign could succeed. The operation, which has already begun with commando raids that have killed or captured more than 100 Taliban operatives, is the whole point of President Obama's troop surge. Right now, there are only 12,000 U.S., Canadian, and Afghan troops in and around Kandahar. And Michael Semple, who has spent more than two decades in Afghanistan, says that's not enough to stop the Taliban's reign of terror. The Taliban have infiltrated assassination groups into Kandahar who are able to you know, assassinate at will. Every day, somebody is being picked off. Between now and July, the number of troops will essentially double. American and Canadian forces will set up bases in the districts surrounding Kandahar and spread out into the villages where the Taliban have their safe havens. At the same time, U.S. and Afghan troops will establish checkpoints, 40 in all, on roads leading into Kandahar. Inside the city, U.S. soldiers will man every police station alongside Afghan police. A weak point in the strategy is indeed the Afghan police. They have uh, yet to prove themselves. Operation Cooperation for Kandahar, as it is officially called, dwarfs in both size and significance the earlier attempt to rout the Taliban from their stronghold in Marja, the poppy-growing heart of Afghanistan. The operation in Kandahar is 100 times more important than the operation in Marja. Marja was a sideshow. Kandahar is the real thing. The Marja operation is still not over. And U.S. officials don't expect the Kandahar operation to produce results until the end of this year. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.